Hello Pana friends! In this video I am going to go through my favorite journal and planner supplies and I hope that this video is going to be helpful. I don't know. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments. I have so many things that obviously I can't go through all of my collection so I try to pick the most favorite ones, the ones I use the most, the ones I get the most questions about so I hope that this video is going to give you a broad overview of all the different kinds of things um, that maybe you could try out. Obviously, I don't own everything either, so I can show you every kind of category there is. Um, but I'm going to go over a lot of different categories that are very common in the journal and planner community, I think. So let's dive into it. The first category is going to be pens. So... First of all, the pens that I write the most with are these Moonman or Majon. I think, I'm not sure if, I think the pen is called Moonman and the brand is called Majon, but these are from AliExpress. These are fountain pens. These are basically vanishing point um, dupes. So they are fountain pens and they just click so these are clicky fountain pens and i have two of them because i dropped this one and it is now dead <laughs> i basically killed the nib uh, but i didn't throw it out because i just realized that they sell the nibs separately so i can just get a replacement nib for that one but this one has a clip and this one doesn't have a clip and i'm a lefty so it is always difficult for me to write with a fountain pen either way but I first got the one with the clip and it was actually quite nice for like the angle of the pen because obviously you can hold it like this but I think it was meant to be hold with the clip between your fingers so that the nib is always at the correct angle to write if you hold it like this obviously you can't write with the nib so it was quite nice to have the clip to um, guide me, whereas with this one, sometimes the pen rotates in my hand while I write, or I just rotate it without noticing, and then the nib is not in the correct position, so I have to rotate back. But for me as a lefty, it is quite nice not having the clip, because this way I can hold it much further up if I try to not smudge and stuff like that. So these are not very expensive. And I'm obviously going to link everything that I can in the description box. <laughs> if I miss something, please let me know in the comments. If you can find something in the description, I probably just forgot because there's a lot of things I'm going to show you. But um, yeah, so these are the pens I write the most with. And the ink I use is the Diatramentis Archival Ink in black. So that's the only ink I have at home. So... <laughs> I never ever write with anything else besides besides that one black ink. So other plans that uh, plans other pens that I frequently very frequently use are these Tombo Fudenasuki uh, pens. There are two different kinds. The green one is a soft um, tip, and the blue one is a hard tip. Now these are calligraphy pens, so they have like a brush tip and the softness of the nib is important because with the softer nib or tip um, it is much more flexible so you need to have much more control with the harder tip it's not that flexible it's a harder tip so <laughs> you don't need that much control I, for beginners actually i would recommend getting both and trying both of them out because i feel like with the hard tip it is quite hard to produce like thick lines because it's you really need to press really hard because it's not flexible so that might give you as a beginner the illusion that you don't know how to do calligraphy Whereas with this one, you don't have to press that hard to see that thick line. So I would try both of these. They are also not very expensive. I have a lot of them in stock at home because I use them every day. Now for other kinds of pens, like 
black pants that I use. I love the Sarasa Mark On and the Sarasa Dry Pens. These are gel pens. I am, as I mentioned, a lefty, so I always smear everything, no matter how hard I try. Now, I was looking for gel pens that are not smearing that easily because it's very annoying and destroys my spreads. So I found the Marcon and the dry pens and the Marcon ones were made for you to be able to highlight over it basically immediately. Um, you can't do that actually, it's still going to smear, you still have to wait a little bit of time. Um, but um, these are definitely better for lefties, I would say, because they dry much quicker so that you can highlight over them. And the Sarasa Dry is actually like, as it says in the name, a dryer pen. Um, this, all of these don't really work very well on Tomoe River paper, I feel like, because that paper is so smooth. The paper needs a little bit of grit or texture to soak in the ink, otherwise it's not gonna dry quickly, even though it says dry. So these I would definitely like recommend for bullet journals or stuff like that, or like other kind of paper, not very smooth paper. But these I had great success with in like my study notes that don't, don't, don't smear anymore, or like in my bullet journal or other kind of journals as I mentioned. So these are very great. Um, the Markans came in 0 0.4 and 0 0.5 and the dry only comes in 0 0.5 or at least when I bought these, uh, it was only this um, nib or tip or whatever. Maybe since then they have new ones, but I don't know about that. So I would definitely recommend these pens. Now another one that I use a lot is this Tombow black brush pen. I don't really letter with this because it has a huge tip and for smaller planners or even like normal size planners for like any word that is longer than like four letters <laughs> you can't really letter with this small and so I don't use it for that. I use the Fodunosuki for that. But this one I use for stamping. I found that a lot of like stamping inks that I tried um, were like smearing, not drying very quickly. And I feel like most paper can take the Tombow inks very well because these are water based. I don't know what other stamping inks are based, but <laughs> I felt like Tombows are very reliable pens um, on almost all paper. So I use this for stamping. I just put my clear stamp on my acrylic block, paint over it with my pen. You can even like coordinate or control which parts of the stamp you want to stamp with if you want to. So just put ink on that part and then I stamp with it and it worked pretty well. I also have a lot of other colors. These are just a couple. These are my favorites. I have a lot more. Uh, I can show every one of them. This one, I don't even know the color. Wait, let me, let me... I have a newer one of this. This is the 026 and then the 977 is a brown. I love browns, if you can tell. The 942, the 947 and the N79. This is a warm gray, which I love with my warm browns. I also have these, these are the Pente brush sign pens. These are also calligraphy pens, so they have this tip. This is a very flexible tip and I love it. <laughs> these also have a lot of ink in them, so they create like a very inky, beautiful lettering. And I have these colors, I don't know if the colors are on here, this is gray. Then we have yellow ochre, we have blue black, light gray, pale brown, and brown. This is not brown in my opinion, this is more like a burgundy, but yeah. Those are the colors I have and I love these as well. And then the last two pens are these um, Zig Clean 
color dot pens. I have fawn and black. And these are different because they have this circular like tip, so it makes a dot. I can demonstrate if you want. So it just makes a dot like that. You can press harder and it makes a bigger one. You can press just a little bit. And these are great for like lists and stuff like that. So I like these as well. So that was it for pens. Let's quickly move on because I have still have a lot of things to show you. So I wanted to quickly talk about this, these tweezers. These are by EK Tools. These are craft tweezers. And I could not do my journaling without this. <laughs> Especially now that I am dating a common planner which has a lot of small, small stickers to put on for the dates. This is needed and necessary. So also not expensive, like 10 bucks or something, but it is very useful for small stickers. Now, another um, thing I want to talk about are these clips that you see these are Midori index clips and these come in a pack I think there is also like a copper color and a silver one and I use these in basically almost all of my planners to mark the page and I also wanted to talk about these tabs these are by Sweet Freckled Designs um, also on my cousin they come in a set with all of the months of the year and then with the monthly weekly daily and miscellaneous tabs so I love those as well on next I want to talk about these covers because I always get <laughs> questions about this so these covers these floral ones this Clear floral ones are by Cat's Presso Co. These are floral jelly covers, I think is what they are called. They have the same pocket configurations on all sizes. So they have three different slots. And then there is a big one in the back where you put your uh, planner. And I have the Weeks cover and the Hobonichi Cousin or the A5. This also has the three slots and then the bigger one and I love them and I always get questions on these and I know why because they are beautiful <laughs> so um, yeah this um, inlay that I have in here with the coffee is by Twines and Paper and this is just a vellum that I have put inside the cover and then put my planner in another thing I want to talk about is these clips now I have a lot of these all over my planners. Let me see if I can find more. I have another one here and then I have, I think another one on here. I have a lot of these. These are by Uri Block. I don't know if you can read it, probably not. Um, and they have a lot of these, these are magnetic uh, and they have a lot of different kinds and I just like them because I like how they look on my planners <laughs> and sometimes they do keep stuff um, together but sometimes it's just for decoration and while I'm holding this in my hands let me quickly talk about uh, my covers um, basically all of my covers are by Moterm I have these two and then this one as well and my favorites are the vegetable tanned leathers. These are the newest ones they have. And I have espresso here and khaki, but they have a lot of different other, other colors as well. And these are amazing quality, in my opinion, for the price. And they have different pocket configurations depending on the size. So I love these. And the other covers that I have a lot of is these Traveler's Notebook covers. And these are all by the same brand on AliExpress. I think it's called 
from Tenon or something, but they sell these um, they sell these covers and I think they are quite great for the for the price. I also have these um, pocket zipper thingies from them. They have them in like passport size. They also have bigger ones for standard size. So they also have these plastic kind of things. So they basically sell every kind of accessory for Traveler's Notebooks. And they all come with a charm. So I, I think they are quite nice. They also sell like these bands. They sell everything. So check them out if you're in the market for some Traveler's Notebooks. Inserts. I don't really like their inserts to be honest with you. Um, but I love their covers, so that's that for covers. Now let's move on to stickers and such because there is a lot to talk about <laughs> when it comes to stickers and such. So before I started my Hobonichi journey <laughs> and my 10,000 planner journey that you can see but i have a lot of planners before i started that i was a happy planner so i still have a lot of happy planner sticker books i think they are great because you have a lot of stickers at once and they are all coordinating with each other inside one book but also you really need to decide which ones you get because a lot of them are what they call functional i think functional i guess where they have like a lot of boxes like this um and such and if you're like more into decorative journaling or planning so you need more like deco elements and not like um boxes to write in it might be hard to find one that you like for your journaling but i also think they have bigger ones now with only deco in them so maybe that would be a good Thing to look into if you want to get a lot of stickers all at once that all go with each other but i have my favorite ones here um neutral watercolors good habits modern bookish this one is i think a good one for um a lot of decoration and not a lot of boxes well maybe there is a lot of boxes in here still but yeah okay no never mind a lot of boxes but most of them are a mixture between boxes and deco. So if you don't mind that, um, I think you can get these like for very discounted prices um, at different parts of the year. So maybe that's worth looking into. So Modern Bookish, Abstract Watercolor and Biz Babe are my favorites. But I have like five times, uh, maybe ten times <laughs> this much on my shelf. A lot of old ones that I don't really like much anymore, but that's another story for another time. So I have quite a lot of stuff from AliExpress um, and I'm not gonna pull out everything because that would take forever. But I especially love these kinds of photo sticker thingies because I think these are just so cute and so easy to use. There are also these books with like transparent pages and stickers on them. And I think these are super cute as well. And these are definitely one of my most recent purchases. And so I love them the most. <laughs> this is how it is. New, new stuff I always like more than my old stuff. So I just wanted to show you these two. But obviously AliExpress is a great site to buy cheap stickers and such if you're on a budget so check that out and then i have obviously also a lot of stickers by smaller shops and we are going to go into that in a second i have a couple from plan dream live by joanna and i am not using these because i want to save them so that's that i also have some from chamber of thistle by Let's see, Zart. I'm not sure if that's pronounced correctly, uh, but there you see the name, and these are also cute 
these are more like witchy themed so i like these as well and then um this sticker storage is by twines and paper and obviously i love my sterling ink i have a lot of those um and I think I don't need to introduce Sterling Ink to anyone. But if I do, if you don't know Sterling Ink, check Sterling Ink out. And then Pineberry Paper. I actually was on their PR team once, so this was my freebie sheet. The Coffee Monsters Co. I obviously don't have to um, introduce as well. And then we are getting into the realm of pet tapes now i think a good way to get into the world of pet tapes or pe tape tapes is by getting samples so a lot of people sell samples which is just like one loop so pet tapes are if you're not familiar are these rolls of tape where there is like a backing and you can peel that off and then it sticks and you can cut out different things from your tape as you can see i cut out something in here and then use that in your journal now these rolls can be pretty expensive um, and if you're not sure if you're gonna like it maybe not buy a whole roll because it's a lot it's like i'm never gonna use this whole roll probably in my life so I think a good way is to get a sample. A lot of people sell these samples on the internet or you can buy samples in web shops as well. And then you can try them out. I have a lot of them, a lot of samples, um, but my favorites are actually definitely this one. This is by Journal Pages, by Journal Pages. And I love this roll for sure. It's beautiful. I can't pronounce its name, but I'm going to leave it in the description box. It's something with ancient or something, something. I think it's in French and I don't speak French. <laughs> so I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry for that. But as I mentioned, everything is going to be linked in the description box. And then you can also get samples from AliExpress, um, just like samples. And I would definitely suggest they have a lot of different cute ones. And I love tapes like that. They also sell like whole rolls if you're interested. And also what you can buy on AliExpress are not like tapes or loops, but they sell these kinds of packs that look like pet tape, but they are actually like, I guess they could be part of a tape, but you can't really see that. And they are also not rolled up. So these come in like a package, like package like this. And these are also like super cute. And there are a lot of different kinds on AliExpress. So these are also definitely one of my favorites. So easy to use and I love the illustrations. So that's that. And I have some of these here uh, in here as well. Some scraps <laughs> that I wanted to save. So now that we are talking about tapes, let's talk about um, these kinds of tapes. So I love these as well. These are like dot stickers. And I use these for like lists or as deco. And there are a lot of these also in different kinds of colors um, that you can get also on AliExpress, but I'm sure in other shops as well. And then my favorite kinds of washi are grid washi. And you can literally get these basically everywhere at this point i feel like and there is like one set of washi tape that i always get questions about so let me get it i always get 
Oh, no, wait. I always get questions about these washi tapes and these are by Heidi Swap. Uh, Carefree, I think, is the name of the collection. And yeah, I love these as well. And then I also have a couple Paper Minty Studio washi tapes that I also always get questions about. So these are Paper Minty and I'm only mentioning these because I always get questions about this, but you can't buy these anymore, I think. So I'm sorry. Just wanted to <laughs> answer the question for all of the people that are that wanted to know. And then I also always get questions about these. And these are from AliExpress as well. So there is so much on AliExpress, so probably you can get most of the things that I am showing you from AliExpress, even though I didn't buy all of them on there. Now let's move on to more stickers or more journaling supplies. I have these little booklets of paper basically, um, but these are like collages. Um, I like to use them in my journaling. These are by Stationery Pal, I think. These, I just posted a spread with these recently and I got a lot of questions about these. These are the 365 days stickers or something it's called. These are also from Stationery Pal and these are individual stickers. And then you can mark the day of the week. I also love Sue Atelier stickers. I have a lot of different kinds. I, in fact, love them so much that I try not to use them, <laughs> which is a hallmark of true love <laughs> uh, because I don't want to waste them, I guess. But I have a lot of these and I think they are very cute. So love those. I also love these little um, sets of pictures and stickers and vellum. I don't know what they are called, journal sets, but I have two of them. This one is Breakdown, Breakdown City and the other one is Piano Mori and both of them are from Stationery Pal. I also have a discount code for Stationery Pal, so be on the lookout for that if you want to order anything from them. And then the last and honorable mention, I would say, <laughs> are these printable stickers. Um, these are from Catherine Sarah Journal's Patreon, which is called the Grimoire Club. And she puts out these printable sticker kits every month. You can vote on the theme. And I printed out a lot of these and I have them in my stash and I use them actually quite a lot. I did print these on normal paper because I didn't have sticker paper back then, but I would obviously recommend you print these on sticker paper for easier use. If you have a plotter, like a silhouette or something, you can also, you know, plot it. So I cut it out, but I don't have that. So I cut it by hand, which is fine. So those were the stickers. So I think that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I'm sorry that this is a longer video. <laughs> if I forgot anything, which I'm sure I did, um, let me know in the comments. I can make another video about other things if I forgot important things. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And as I mentioned, I will try to link everything in the description box, so check there. And if I forgot to link anything, also let me know. I also have an Instagram account if you want to follow me over there. It's linked in the description box, but it's Rebecca underscore plans. And other than that, I hope you have an awesome day and that we see each other very soon. Until then, bye. It was Oops. Oopsies. All right. <laughs>